First up on New Day, the iconic story of the Kit Kat Club is coming to life with a fresh take on cabaret. And it's happening at Seattle's 12th Avenue Arts on Capitol Hill. Here with a preview is Tanisha Ross in her starring role as Sally Bowles. This is Cabaret. Maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Maybe this time for the first time love won't hurry away. Everybody loves a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be. Need a sip is oh, hard to sing this early. You. Yes. Should I talk for a while while you have a sip? Sure. Um, <laughs> hi, band. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, this performance of Cabaret is is an updated version of a show that people have loved for a long time. Tell me what's different. Um, well, I think the biggest difference is that I'm playing Sally Bowles and being a woman of color. There haven't been that many that have done that over the years. Tell me why that's important. Oh gosh. Well, <laughs> um, there are a lot of reasons. I, there are so many reasons. Uh, one, you know, being of color and being able to play a part that is not normally played, that's just, it's just a dream to not play roles that are typically role, mm -hmm. like a role of color. Um, I think that the expectations are a little bit different, you know, um, and also, so Josephine Baker is one of my heroes, mm -hmm. um, and she was this huge star, but a lot of people don't know that she was actually a spy. Um, which is really cool. Like she spied for the French on the Nazis um, during that time. She had like invisible ink written on her sheet music and was like, Amazing. I know, right? And like people just think that she was this entertainer, but she was actually an activist and, and all of that. So I draw a lot of inf inspiration from her. And That's a good bit of history to draw in too, so that yeah. people kind of understand there's a bigger story here and that yeah. this character is not any particular ethnicity. This character is a woman, and yeah. that's pretty much all, all there is to it. Mm -hmm. What audience is right for this show? Definitely a more mature audience, mm -hmm. although a friend of mine. This is not a mine, kid show. No, no, but I did have a friend bring their 10-year-old, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. 
But apparently he was singing the songs the next morning, but wow. instead of life as a cabaret, he said life as a cabernet, old chump. <laughs> So <laughs> I like this kid. I know. We need to find this kid. <laughs> um, what is your musical background? How did you get started in musical theater? Oh gosh. So I went to Cornish College of the Arts. Mm -hmm. I was a jazz major, um, but I started taking classical lessons and my voice teacher was like, you're an actress. And I was like, I don't know what that means. She's like, go audition for the show. And so I did. And I did my first musical at Civic Light Opera back in the day and just kept going. Yeah, loved it from how, the start. Yeah. And you're from Spokane, Uh huh. so we get to claim you over here as well. That's right. Um, <laughs> this role in particular, in terms of that song is one of my favorites because it's so emotional and there are lots of layers and depth to yeah. Sally. What drew you to this role? Um, again, like I said, I think the Josephine Baker piece, like I, that's always what I thought about when I thought of this character. Mm -hmm. um, and are there also, things about her, about Sally? Yeah, she's she's fun and carefree and um, just bigger than life and and just is like I'm gonna live my life you know for me and I don't care what other people think but a fun thing to play it's right so fun because we we don't always I mean we occasionally feel like that but not all the time and you get to do it on stage yeah. we're taking a look at some of the production photos right now and I mean it's oh. such a cool looking show the costuming the lighting all of that can you comment on that yeah, I, you know, it's always hard to tell what a show's going to look like until you see all the pieces. Mm -hmm. And um, particularly the, the set, I'm just in love with it. Like, every, it's so much fun to play on it every night. And, you know, who doesn't like to feel glamorous? So, wearing you glamorous. You look pretty glamorous today. Thanks. I mean, on top of everything else, the fishnets. Oh, I mean, classic. Get out of here. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Cabaret or Cabernet, as you would have it, is happening now until December 15th. It is Cabaret at 12th Avenue Arts on Capitol Hill in Seattle. We've got a link to tickets on New Day's website. Go and see it. Up next, we're going to talk with a veteran activist about how to better support causes that you care about. We'll be right back.